everybody and welcome on board this lovely Bavaria 32 for a look around her interior in virtual reality. So what does that mean to you as a viewer? Well that means that you can look around where you like, when you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking. All you have to do is swipe your screen or click and drag up, down, left or right and you can look around whenever you like wherever you like you don't have to look where I'm looking and we hope that this really neat nifty new idea will allow you to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here how cool is that now I will move the camera and I'll let you know when I'm going to move that because some people feel a little bit sensitive to the movement of the camera if that may be you please avert your eyes when I move it and I'll let you know when the camera is safely back down again so you can return to the tour and uh, we can carry on together but let's hope that doesn't happen so here we are inside this lovely Bavaria 32 and uh, if you didn't know any better you'd think she was pretty new there's not much to show she's had any use at all hardly incredible beautiful interior we've got light wood we've got uh, light uh, finishes up here uh, we've got light upholstery it smells new as well she's absolutely lovely so we'll start where the camera is. Now you're in the main saloon, you're sitting on the uh, on the saloon table. If I just uh, walk past you and come behind and open up the leaf, you can see we've got two leaves that do open up like that, give you a lovely great big uh, table. We've got a nice deep uh, pocket in here for all your bits and pieces and we have drawers in the end here though you can't see them from where you are two nice big drawers there for you cut and crew it etc really lovely bench seats either down either side we well, a bench seat on the port side l-shaped on the starboard so seating for lots of people there to uh, sit and eat at the end of a long hard day sailing you can see we've got the uh, the mass supports coming through there as well so when we come down into this compartment we've got uh, lots to hold, hold on to we've got uh, handles either side here we have handles here We've got a, a grab road all the way around the galley as well, and as we move forward, we can hold on to here, we can hold on to the mass support, etc. etc. So, lots to hold on to until we get to the mass support, but a really nice space. Nice big lobby here to get through, so no problem with people staggering about pulling their uh, families on and off. Lovely floor again, almost unmarked, looks beautiful. The upholstery looks beautiful, that's an upgrade too. There is storage behind the seats here, there's storage beneath too, and generally speaking, a really lovely area. We've got fiddle shelves behind. Behind each side we have a nice uh, neat cupboard here each side as well and fiddle shelves above which are separated into separate compartments so really really lovely down here I like this boat on the left hand side here you can see we've got the nav station so uh, nav stations are becoming a little second fiddle on some boats and uh, in this case we've got uh, a nav station with a, an area for a chart uh, the chart table is fairly small, a uh, little bit of room inside there for your sharpeners, your charts, etc, etc. And on this port side here we've got the heater control, the radio, the electrics panel, the uh, MTCBs, the stereo and the TV that's stored there or stowed there on the bulkhead too. And uh, if you are navigating this boat from the chart table you'll be sitting here and facing aft and some people have uh, comments about that kind of thing as well. Good access down to the keel bolts underneath here as well, they're bright and shiny, the bilge is nice and clean and dry which is what we you have to see in general a lovely lovely area head height I'm five foot nine so I'm just about touching hit no I'm not quite touching there about five foot ten raking down slowly as we go forward I think we have about four big windows all openers to let light and air in we've got blinds on the wall as well by the looks of it very nice indeed we've got a hatch above us with a fly screen and blind on as well there we go there's the blind there's the, uh, the fly screen, very nice indeed. And in general, just a lovely, lovely place to be. Whether you're wanting some, uh, whether you want some luxury weekend yachting, or if you're pounding it along and you want to just crash down here after a long day's sail, well, that uh, that would be up to you. Okay, let's just pick her up, and I'll take you to the galley first. Here we go. I'll place you sort of roughly in the middle. There we go. So you're uh, you're by the sink here. So we've got uh, running hot and cold water from the mixer tap. Something to grab onto here as well. If you're cooking, you will be impeding access to that cabin. So there's a compromise on this kind of uh, layout but uh, if you are cooking or you're washing up you can pass the uh, the cleans and the dirties up nice and easily you can pass the other uh, cup of soups and the baked beans up and down nice and easy easily uh, a really really lovely design the cooker is uh, gimbaled and uh, it should be gimbaled it's locked in place at the moment we have a uh, two burner hob uh, which is accessible here there we go, very nice, and when that's down, that does give you a proper work surface to work from, although there's a bigger finger hole in it. We have storage behind, storage behind, a nice locker above and behind as well. We've got uh, electric sockets there, and uh, a big cupboard underneath the sink, and a big cupboard underneath, underneath the cooker too. Really, really lovely. To get to the engine, it's very, very easy. We have, we have access on the, uh, on the 
there's a small access on the port side there, uh, the main access through right underneath the companionway here, and a big access on the starboard side there. But to get in, very, very nice and easily. Quite a pull up, but it is a one handed affair. Up it goes on gas struts, and we've got access to the lovely engine there, and a cleaner engine compartment I don't think I've ever seen. So uh, she'll, I just know she'll be low hours, and uh, the, uh, the bilge underneath the engine is nice and clean. It looks nice and shiny, and uh, she should come freshly serviced. In fact, this engine has just been serviced in early June of 2023, so uh, all good there with your light isolator down below. Very nice indeed and easy to keep an eye on, but if you didn't want to disturb the, the usability of the companion way at sea, then through this side would be the way to go. So let's go through that side, shall we? Let's pick up the camera and I'll take you through to the aft cabin. Now this is the only aft cabin on this boat, the other aft cabin area is given over to the heads. But we've got a lovely a lobby here, area here. Uh, we've got the, uh, the fuel tank underneath, we've got a little big access here to the uh, starboard side of the engine which is great. And if you just look around, it's lovely and light and bright and airy down here for a cabin of this type. We often see them a bit dark and dingy but we've got white, we've got window, we've got uh, this is an opening window, we've got a non-opening hull port there, both with blinds, an opening window up here and plenty of headroom above the bed. We've got lovely mattresses here, there's another mattress underneath as well so I'm anticipating real comfort on this bed but of course there is a compromise and that would be the head height here as we see on lots of boats because this is the, the, uh, the moulding for the cockpit above but that's not too much of a problem. I think if you're on your own you'd be fine you'd have loads of room. If there's two of you in here, you'd probably end up with sort of somebody's shoulders under this side, but generally speaking, rather nice. And access through to the steering gear through the after bulkhead, a big long fiddled and divided shelf up here. And uh, of course the seat I'm sitting on with storage underneath too. And uh, a lovely whacking great big cupboard there, hanging locker, and I suspect probably shelves on that side there. How nice a cabin is this? Very nice indeed. So let's pick you up. And I'll take you through, and uh, first of all I'll take you left to the port side, I'll take you to the heads compartment, there we go. I'll come in and close the door so we can all see what's going on, there we go. And uh, as you can see we've got a, a long a lengthways uh, fore and aft heads compartment, plenty of room in here. The toilet or the head is port aft facing starboard forward, so you're looking towards the front of the boat or towards the door. The camera's sitting on a nice piece of work surface, we have a nice hold, uh, hand hold here which is always handy in the shower. Storage underneath, nice contemporary looking basin with a nice mixer tap there as well. Uh, shelves here for the cruise bits and pieces, more shelves in there inside the cupboard. An opening window, great in this compartment and if you just turn around you can see we have a, a watertight hatch here down for the, or a water, uh, yeah, watertight hatch down here for access to the port side of the engine I think. And also we have this shower here which will uh, lift up cunningly if I can get it off and uh, that fits over here there we go and we have a proper shower everybody how nice is that uh, the remnants of which will drain down into the uh, into the uh, build chair or into the onto the floor here and uh, magically away and uh, all completed by mirror on the front on the front bulkhead there so yes very nice area oh did I mention this, this massive locker here as well this looks like we have the holding tank inside but there's room in there for a few bits and pieces and a shelf on top no problem at all right then let's pick you up again let's take you out of the heads and close the door on the heads and we'll go marching forward through the saloon. Here we go, through this uh, bulkhead, lovely, lovely wood, into the forward cabin, and again, a really lovely forward cabin, lots of light, we've got the, uh, the hatch here which opens, we've got the, uh, the fly screen, we've got the normal screen, nice light wood, nice light upholstery, you can see we've got a nice lobby here, when we come in and shut the door, there's still room to uh, stand in here or sit in here, pull your galoshes on etc. We have uh, hanging lockers either side, although I suspect one is probably shelved out, that's a hanging locker, and in this side would be the shelves, there we go, plenty of room for all your bits and pieces, two big drawers underneath the bed as well, and a nice wide bed, reasonably long as well, and uh, a really good place to spend the weekend, and I just notice we have uh, shelves either side, ports and starboard. How nice! How could we possibly not be happy in there? And again, the upholstery looks great. I don't see any issues. It's uh, fitted and it looks really, really comfy too. Very nice indeed. Right then, let's pick you up again. We'll just access the, uh, sorry, exit the aft cabin, and uh, I'll place you back where we started. Where well, we'll sum up by saying this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers, just showing you around the interior of this lovely contemporary Bavaria 32. We're seeing just how light, bright and airy she is. We've got two nice cabins, we've got the nice heads, a bit of a nav station in the corner and a good galley area too. And just looks and feels, to me, new. Smells new too. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
lots more videos and boat reviews on our YouTube channel, Boat Shed Yacht Brokers. Just go there where you find lots of reviews of all types of boats, from the smallest, dirtiest old fishing boat to the most luxurious, whacking great big gin palace in Brighton Marina. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon. Take care.